In a division problem, the dividend tells us how much we have and the divisor tells us how we're going to group it. How can we determine which numbers can be divided by 2 without any remainders? Any number that is an even number can be divided by 2. Even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Let's try a few different examples. We're going to start with 12 items and we want to split those 12 items into two groups. So 12 is my dividend and 2 is my divisor. 12 is an even number because it ends in 2. So as I start to work to split those 12 items into two groups, we should notice that everything is going to go into two groups with nothing left over. I can put six items into each group. So 12 divided by 2 gives me 6. But what if I'm working with a number that isn't an even number? What if we start with 9 items? 9 doesn't end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So what happens when I want to solve 9 divided by 2? Well again, we can work to put all of our items into two groups. When we do that though, we notice we're going to have 1 left over. So when I solve 9 divided by 2, I get 4 items in each group and 1 left over. Anytime I'm working with an odd number or a number that isn't even, this is going to happen that I'm going to have a remainder. We can also test this rule to see if larger numbers are divisible by 2. Here we have 532 divided by 2. 532 ends in 2. 2 is an even value. That means I should be able to divide 532 by 2 and not have any remainders. When we go to try, we see 2 goes into 5 2 times. Subtract my 4, that leaves me with 1. Bring down my 3, 2 goes into 13 6 times. Subtract my 12, that leaves me with 1. Bring down my other 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times again. Subtract my 12 and I'm left with nothing. So 532 divided by 2 does come out to be exactly 266 with no remainders. In our second example, we have 4,281 divided by 2. 4,281 ends in 1, which is an odd value. That means we should get a remainder when we divide by 2. When we test it out, 2 goes into 4 twice, subtract my 4, there's none left over, bring down my 2. 2 goes into 2 once, subtract my 2, there's none left over, bring down my 8. 2 goes into 8 4 times, subtract my 8, there's none left over, bring down my 1. 2 doesn't go into 1, so I need to put a 0 up here in my quotient, subtract out my 0, and I'm still left with 1. So that means we're going to have 2,140 with the remainder of 1 as our quotient.